Christ is in our midst. It's so good to see you. I'd, I'd like the children to come up to the front. I'm going to grab my chair and pull it over here. And I've got little spots here to keep our social distancing children's spots. Okay. I got a spot over here too if you want to. There's a little square blue spot there. See that blue spot there? It's good to see you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is in our midst. So I'm going to say a couple words, and then you tell me what comes after. Okay? You tell me what comes after. One, two, three, and four. Four. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, A, B, C, D, E. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, so how about this one? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and... That's a little trickier. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and... Anybody at home know it? There it is. I heard it. John. John. Very good. We've got our kids here. We've got our kids there. And I heard, I heard, I heard someone was yelling, John, over there. So this is what's called a sequence. Okay? It's kind of a fancy word, a sequence. A sequence is several things come together in an order. And we know the next thing because we learn the sequence, like numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've learned that sequence. And the alphabet, you've learned that sequence. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we've, we've learned that sequence. Yes, If you count to 100, it follows the same sequence. You're right. You're right. Even if you count to 200, it keeps going. Now, the reason I'm bringing up this whole idea about sequence, things happening in a certain order, is because in today's gospel reading, we see this sequence today. It's a different one, but it's still a sequence. It's things that happen in an order. Jesus is praying in the gospel I read today. And does anybody remember who wrote today's gospel? The reading, I said, the reading is from the gospel according to... It's actually the fourth of the sequence. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and... John. John, very good. So, so our reading today was from John. And, and in it we saw a sequence... Because Jesus is praying, and he's talking to the Father. That's the first thing. Jesus and the Father are talking. He's talking to God, his Father, in prayer. Then the second thing, the second part of the sequence, Jesus then tells the disciples what to do. So, first thing, Jesus talks to God the Father... Then Jesus tells the disciples. Then the third thing is the disciples tell other people. Do you see that? That there's a sequence. Jesus talks to the Father. Then he talks to the disciples. And then the disciples talk to other people. They tell the other people what Jesus and the Father was talking about. Jesus talks to the Father about the teachings that he wants to teach us. Then Jesus teaches the disciples, and the disciples teach everybody else. Yes. It follows just like that in order. Exactly. Now, what I find fascinating, very interesting, is the disciples taught other people and that those other people taught other people 
And those other people taught other people. And this has happened for 2,000 years. Yeah. And, and finally, they taught all the people all the way up to us. They taught us. 2,000 years ago, it's, the sequence started. 2,000 years ago, and it just kept going until here we are at St. Philip Church, and we are hearing the words that Jesus was speaking with his Father. Jesus speaks with his Father, then he tells his disciples, and then his disciples tell others, and those others tell others, and the others tell others up till today. And we are still hearing the words of Jesus. You know what? We are part of the sequence. We are part of the sequence. And we, me, everybody here, people that are listening, watching today online, we're all part of the sequence and we will teach other people. Jesus and the Father speak. Jesus tells his disciples. The disciples tell others. Others tell others and they tell others and they tell others. Finally, someone tells us and we will be telling others the teachings of Jesus, the teachings that he gave us, the teachings that have that we've held on for 2000 years, the teachings that we believe here at St. Philip Church, the teachings that God is love, that he loves you, that he loves me, that there's nothing we can ever do that would make God stop loving us, that if we live the way he teaches us, our life will be good. Our life will be filled with an understanding of God's presence. And when we know that God is with us and loves us, everything, it makes everything better and it makes us stronger. So I wanted you to know that today, okay? All right? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's stand up and I'm going to say a prayer over you before I, you go back to your spots. Oh Lord our God, we thank you that we were able to witness your prayer in front of your disciples to the Father. Help us to remember, Lord, that we are part of the sequence and we're really not the end. The sequence will continue because we will share your love with other people too. And someday those other people will share it with still more people. Lord, watch over us and give us the strength and wisdom to share your words at all times. For you are holy now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is in our midst. Okay, you can go back to your, your, your spots.